Good morning. Uh, this is Santos Capellan Jr. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, what I'm going to do is to discuss how to become a BMS engineer. BMS stands for Building Management System, or sometimes it is called Building Automation System. Okay. Now, as you know, every year there are thousands of technical or engineering graduates. Every year, universities, colleges, produces new engineers like electrical, mechanical, computer engineering, uh, chemical, and other engineering field of discipline, okay? Now, if you are one of those graduates, maybe the question in your mind is, what field of engineering I will join, okay? So today, what I'm going to do is discuss this uh, field of engineering, uh, as I, uh, I should say building management system. Okay. By the way, I am a BMS engineer. So I work in. I work in uh, Riyadh, uh, Jeddah, uh, Qatar, Dubai, Oman. I have some projects in Oman, but most of my projects are in Qatar and Dubai. Okay. So without further ado, let me define what is building management system, okay? Now, building management system is defined as uh, it's a computer-based system for centralizing and optimizing the monitoring, operating, and managing of a building. For this reason, a BMS is considered the central nervous system of a building. So, the smart building concept upon which the BMS is based utilizes the latest technologies to intelligently decide how the building's electrical and mechanical system should optimally perform. Okay, so building's electrical and mechanical system should optimally perform. Okay, so meaning BMS uh, scope of work is related with electrical system and mechanical system okay now in electrical system it covers the uh, low current system also power distribution low current system like fire alarm system uh, access control paging system uh, computer system in mechanical system now you basically the one being controlled and monitored in the BMS in mechanical system is the HVAC equipment, heating, ventilating, and air conditioning uh, equipment, HVAC. Okay. Now, uh, if you want to join this field, uh, everybody is welcome as long as you are a graduate of any technical course or engineering courses. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm a graduate of mechanical engineering and I have a degree also in computer science. Now, this computer science that I had finished helps me a lot in, in doing engineering or doing BMS engineering works, okay? Now, uh, so what are the jobs available in this field? Okay, so I have here in my screen, as you can see, uh let me show you first is the bms engineer okay so as i said if you are a graduate of engineering course or any other technical course you can be a bms engineer building management system engineer okay now uh you can join a solution provider company or an MEP company, okay? So solution provider company, these are the companies that uh, provide solution for the specific project, okay? So who are the big players in uh, BMS? The big players for the BMS are Honeywell, Siemens, Schneider, Train, Allerton, and some other uh, control companies okay so but the big players are this uh, 
as I mentioned, those first few uh, solution provider company. Okay. Now uh, you can also become a BMS project engineer. Uh, again, you can be a part of a solution provider company or an MEP company, mechanical electrical plumbing company. Okay. Now MEP company, this companies the one uh, installed and provide the mechanical system electrical and plumbing system for a specific project okay now so you can become a you can also join this bms project engineer or you can become a bms design engineer okay in the if you are the design engineer again you can join a solution provider company or an MEB company Okay, later I will give you the scope of work for each uh, this uh, individual, okay? Now you can be also a BMS foreman. Uh, BMS foreman are in, uh, what is the scope of work? Supervision of site BMS installation. This is the BMS foreman. Okay, you can also be a BMS technician or a BMS operator, okay? BMS operator. Now, if you are a graduate of an uh, engineering course, of course, you want to join the first uh, three uh, position, BMS engineer, BMS project engineer, or BMS design engineer, okay? Now, uh, let me discuss the scope of work for each position. Now, if you are the BMS engineer of solution provider company like Honeywell, or Siemens or train. So you are in charge in the engineering. So you will be the one to engineer the BMS project. Okay. So how are you going to do the engineering? Okay. So what else? What are what else are the scope of work of a BMS engineer? First engineering, then BMS points identification, okay, controller and field devices selection, riser and controller points, schematic diagram, control schematic diagram. So these are the tasks that you need to produce when you, are, when you are a BMS engineer, okay? Now, to be able to do this uh, engineering works, you have to, first you have to secure the tender documents from the project, okay? So what are these tender documents? Tender documents are the project specifications, like the electrical specification and the mechanical specification. Then, of course, you have to ask also for some of the IFC drawings. IFC stands for Instruction for Construction Drawings, or sometimes they have also the TFC, Tender for Construction. Okay, so based on this information project specification, electrical and mechanical, IFC drawings, you will be able to engineer the project, okay? So you will uh, check also the P BMS points data point schedule or BMS DPS data point schedule. Then based on this BMS data point schedule, based on this uh, document, you will be able to know what are the equipment to be controlled and what are the equipment to be monitored, okay? So when you finalize this BMS data point schedule, that's the time to select the uh, controllers, okay? Then the field devices, okay? Now we, I will give you full details of this uh, scope of work later. Uh, I will give you some example. How are you going to define the BMS points, okay? Now, another position is BMS project engineer. If the, you are the BMS project engineer of a solution provider, uh, okay, this the same thing. You will do the engineering, BMS data point schedule, uh, controller, and field devices selection. You will work hand in hand with BMS engineer, okay? or the uh, sales engineer of the solution provider company which you belong to, okay? Now, BMS design engineer, if you are the BMS design engineer now based on the engineering results of the project, 
you will be preparing the all the shop drawings for uh, implementation in the site okay so these shop drawings are related in the bms uh, project okay <clears throat> So the details is prepare all shop drawings for consultants approval based on BMS engineering study. Okay. Now, uh, if you are the design engineer, your task is to have your shop drawing approved by the consultant. As you know, each project, there will be several consultants, electrical and mechanical. So if you are the BMS design engineer, once you prepare the shop drawing with the help of draftsman. You need this drawing to be approved uh, by the consultant. Okay. Now, once your drawing is approved, then that's the only time it should be given to the BMS foreman for uh, site installation and your technician or your BMS foreman can proceed in installation the first fix of the project okay now okay just uh, i will just give you some idea about this bms foreman uh, bms foreman obviously you will be the one in charge for the supervision of site bms installation if you are the bms technician okay so what you will do is the first fix trunking gi and cable pulling ddc panel installation and termination of field devices okay now how about bms operator bms operator okay bms operator usually is part of the facility management once the project bms project is handed over then the bms uh, the facility management will come into picture then they will hire a bms operator to operate the bms okay so that is the day-to-day -day operation of building management system that the scope of work of a bms operator then uh, report animal functioning and attempt to complain as related to building management system okay now uh, in this uh, series of video tutorials i will be concentrating with bms engineer okay so i will give you the detailed scope of work of the bms engineer i will show you also uh, a sample bms project how are you going to uh, engineer? How are you going to do the engineering works? And most important is the BMS points, data point schedule, how you are going to define the BMS points, okay? So based on the BMS points, you will select the controllers that you will use in the site, okay? Now, again, uh, uh, BMS engineer, which is part of solution provider, they are the one who are going to give an offer. So based on their study, they will be the one to give the offer. How much is the cost of that BMS project? Okay. Now, if you are a BMS engineer, part of the MEP company, your task is to make sure that this offer of the solution provider is covering all the necessary uh, details or the scope of work as specified in the specification of electrical and mechanical system are covered within this offer, okay? So uh, for the time being, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and you can hit also the notification bell. You can click also the like button. So uh, my next video will give you the specifics uh, or the details how to become a BMS engineer. I hope you have an idea. How are you going to join this field of uh, discipline? BMS or BAS, building management system or B building automation system engineer, okay? Thank you for watching this short video clips. And uh, as I said, uh, I hope you will be always be safe. And thank you very much. And bye for now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>